What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, I want to talk about the change with ECR. Now we just have the energy system. And if it is going to have, or maybe already has, had some effect in the amount of rewards that are being paid out. Namely, are those rewards going to go up with less battles being played? Now, we only have two days of data, uh, but um, the first of which was when we had our, our the maintenance window, so that's not even a complete day. But you can see here that these last two days of data, we are under 1 million battles in each of those days, and I don't think we've been under 1 million battles in a very long time. Uh, we can look back here, and I mean, this was still like slightly over a million battles. Yeah, 1.4 million. So we are at the lowest point that I would say in terms of overall battles that have happened since the ECR uh, since the ECR change. Now, the other thing you can also look at is the amount of daily active players. Now, again, this isn't perfect because just an account just because an account is active doesn't mean it's necessarily playing the game, right? Or, or running ranked battles. Uh, to me, I, I, and again, just based off anecdotal data from what I've seen, it, it seems as though these accounts are just these. This is triggered whenever somebody just logs into an account, maybe combines some cards, sends some things, claims uh, SPS, whatever the case is. So this will include a lot of just like holding accounts or renting accounts. But even with that, you can see that over the last couple of days, we've seen a downtrend. And on 322, March 22nd, which was a full day of this new ECR system, we're down to 61,000 accounts that were active. Only 61,000 people or bots or players, whatever it was, actually did something within their accounts. So you know, again, could this be another kind of calibration, consolidation, whatever that's happening between a lot of the, the bot accounts? Potentially. But if you look at the general trend over six months, uh, you can see that there is a very clear down and to the right. <laughs> so, uh, again, I, I don't say this in a way to... Uh, Point, point out something negatively, uh, obviously we want the numbers to go up, but we also, and probably more importantly, want the numbers to be real and reflect the amount of actual players that are playing significant accounts. And so what I'm seeing here, and again, this is all anecdotal data from my own personal playing in, in Diamond 2, which is where I'm currently at, but I'm seeing over an SPS right now on average for any ranked battle win that I have. Uh, and that is generally higher than it's been in Diamond 2. Usually in Diamond 2, I'm kind of at about an SPS, but maybe maybe I'm getting too many multipliers, whatever the case is. But the other area in which we can look is on um, on Splex here, where they have the current reward pools. I'm just going to, even though I just opened it, let me just refresh it just in case. And uh, you can see here that this still looks like relatively low. So I don't know if this is just taking in the 15-day average or something like that. But like I said, I'm, I'm in this range right here, uh, probably between 3,100 and 3,400 in terms of my overall rating. And I'm getting more than an SPS in many cases. Granted, I, I probably used some promo cards. I probably was going with whatever, but it's more than I'm used to making uh, over these last couple of days. And again, it's only two days worth of data. But to me, that's really encouraging because the thesis I had going into this, I didn't make a video, but the thesis I had going into it was, will you know with the reduced amount of battles that we'll see because now you'll have uh, accounts that can't battle like you know hundreds of, of times a day. We, are we going to see higher payouts overall? Now, a lot of that abuse where that was happening, where you know these accounts were playing hundreds of times a day, was probably happening at the lower levels, where you know you didn't have to worry about uh, you didn't have to worry about power, you didn't have to worry about anything. And uh, we've we've been looking at a lot of those bots in bronze that were probably abusing it. So I don't think much would change in the higher levels, right? Like in gold and above, because if that's mostly dominated by players or, uh, you know, uh, automated accounts that are trying to get as many rewards as possible, well, then playing with high ECRs at that time in the old system was well worth it versus now where it's just like, obviously you earn more rewards and maybe maybe that's a big part of it too, right? I'm getting the 100% rewards rather than like the 80 to 85% that I would get with the old ECR system. So on the whole, I'm curious to know what has been your experience overall when it comes to the rewards that you're used to getting versus the rewards that you're getting now in whatever league that you play in. Have you noticed it being higher? And again, we're, we're accounting for the fact that maybe there's bonuses, maybe the 100% ECR is, is 
a big difference. But again, I always played around like 85% ECR. That's where I would keep my keep the bot at. And whenever I would come in, I would only play a couple games. I wouldn't let it get below 80% usually. So again, could that could that be enough? Absolutely. Uh, could that be enough to explain the difference? Absolutely. But overall, I, again, looking at the numbers here, I'm earning significantly more than that. And then the data from Peak Monsters to show the total number of battles per day, as well as the number of active accounts, I mean, you can't you can't argue with the data. Again, we're drawing conclusions, which you can argue with the conclusions, but you cannot argue with the data that there are less battles being played over the past couple of days, as well as less daily active accounts. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, how you're feeling about this, what you've noticed, uh, if you have any theses or conclusions conclusions i should say that you've uh, that you've been able to draw from it and we can continue the conversation there otherwise that is all i have for you guys i will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game take care